What's up guys? Hopefully I don't have uh, sunscreen residue all over my face. I don't know. Spray it all over. Um, today we are trying out another 3D printed lure. Um, it is in our top water. It is the Popper Licious, I believe the guy called it, the designer of this lure. And uh, pretty unique. I and mean, I didn't actually realize this until I painted it, that if you guys can see that, it has these little slots in the, uh, in the front that actually go to the side, like our gills, but they're like wide open. So it's gonna like disperse the water and like, you know, shoot it out as you're chugging along the top. Um, I did notice this water is super clear. I didn't realize how clear it was. So, is that good or bad for top water? I'm thinking, I'm thinking good because the fish will be able to see it easier. You know, they'll be able to like pinpoint it like, hey, there's, there's something going on right there. So, you know, the noise factor, you know, is not going to be, you know, the main, the main factor for them to find it. You know, they'll, they'll obviously be able to see it too. So. Um, hopefully, hopefully we can get something today. This is like just a, I call it the printing fish where you know you can print it off and go fishing with it and uh, it don't even need any paint. Uh, I don't think that's really needed for top water. Designer of this lure did recommend to uh, pre-drill the holes on these, which uh, I didn't do for these. So two times, you know, it cracked on me. So I had a, had a super, had a super glue it here. And then uh, on the on the last one, I did pre-drill it, and that just worked. That worked pretty good. I got the uh, got the same hooks on it that I used on the other top water. They are the little red hooks. I feel, I'm not not sure what size. Um, my whole theory behind that was with uh, smaller hooks, you know, they'll be able to get that in their mouth a little bit easier, especially for top water. You know, when they're taking in you know so much more than your lure. Think how much water they're going to be taking in as well. Um, but uh, just working this lure, and it looks really good. Like uh, it catches a lot of water, and it like it shoots it like straight, like straight forward. Yeah, really cups it really good. Got a nice uh, kind of back and forth action with it. Uh, the other top water video, and the small lipped crankbait, the 3D printed crankbait I tested out. Um, if you watch those, you'll see <laughs> I'll be, you know, retrieving the lure and then I don't know, I won't be paying attention or I'll be doing something else where I pause the lure and then that's where the bass decides to strike. Like they're, they're taking that, you know, that split second to, uh, you know, take the bait down. So I'm going to try to, try to use that as my, kind of my tactic to today where, you know, I would just kind of, you know, work it a little bit and then pause it, give it that give it that moment to sit there and hopefully that will help trigger something to bite this thing I like that the fact that you can uh, you can print it standing up like this so you don't have to add any support and it prints out you know super clean you know you don't have any support you have to peel off and then you get you know you get like this weird you get this weird finish on it and uh, I'm assuming it's got to print faster too. You know, you're not printing that extra support on it. Um, for this one, uh, the print time was just over two hours, so not not too bad. The uh, designer also was saying to make sure to print it at 150%. He's like, if you if you print it at 100%, you're going to get a lure that's too heavy, and then that's going to sink. So obviously, that's not good for a top water. Um, but uh, so what I did, he recommended it to print it at 150, which that's what I did. And then uh, I think the first one, let's see here, the first one I did was the uh, well, this is the black one here. So I printed this one at 150 percent, and the uh, the fill was 45 percent. Um, I rigged everything up. That's when I cracked it. I super glued it, which should work. And then uh, I tested it just in a bowl of water, just to make sure it floated right. You know that it wasn't sinking or anything or wasn't sitting weird um, you know if you're gonna print multiple you know multiple lures like I did I got you know three of them here um, you know you don't want to print three of them and then find out you know they sink like a rock so um, definitely definitely recommend testing out you know the first one and uh, make sure it's you know gonna give you the presentation that you are that you are looking for uh, might have a lure holy crap 
Oh, I thought I had a fish on for a second. Started, kind of like started taking off on me. Just some weeds. I'm actually, I'm giving it a good tug and that thing, holy crap, that thing is really good. The amount of water that thing moves, very impressed with that. I mean, that's like, that's almost like hula popper status right there. Wow. Like before I was just kind of giving it a little, you know, a little dangle, but if you, if you rip on it, that thing, that thing squirt some water, man. Impressed. Wow. Now that was a big jump behind me. That was, that was massive. I don't think there's like really, as far as I know, there's not carp in here. So that, holy crap. That could have been a big old bass. I mean, that was like a brick in the water. Holy crap. Man, this looks, this looks so good, guys. You guys see down in there? There's got to be some, some hungry bass sitting in that. I will be doing a giveaway for one of these top water lures. So all you have to do is comment in the comment section and uh, let me know what 3D printed lure I should try out, test out next, and I will announce it the winner on the next video. And uh, I will, uh, for the last video, which I did the, the full size crankbait, I will announce the winner on the end of this video, who the winner is, and I will get that shipped out to you. All right, I think time to switch it up. Let's go with the black one. We'll test out. We'll test out that it was cracked, and then uh, put a put some super glue on it so it wouldn't sink. Spotted like four bass, more in the shallows. Did I mention them fishing the kayaks? Eh? I uh. Usually get out to this lake a couple times a year, but it's the first time this year, so pretty happy I got out before it got too too cold. And uh, it is an absolutely gorgeous day out. 80 degrees, clear skies, beautiful. Probably not exactly ideal for top water, but and this black one looks pretty good too. Don't look like it's taking on any water. All right, we'll put the orange one on. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see how this thing swims. Found a little patch of weeds on the other side here. We'll see. See if we can find some. All right. Go with the old orange popper delicious here. That thing sticks out like a sore thumb. Whew. Pretty good back and forth motion definitely think it is worth printing it is a easy print you can print it up like this uh you know no no support needed just just very easy and uh no you know basically no assembly required you know besides adding the hardware there's no gluing pieces together you know there's no epoxy um i did have to use a little super glue because i cracked it but besides the point it is a cool lure to fish with you know, it's got, you know, these little notches in the side for the water to come out. I didn't really notice that work. But it still looks pretty cool. Um, just overall, definitely worth printing. I give it the thumbs up. If you guys are interested in printing it, I leave the description or the, all the links below. So you can go to thingiverse.com and you'll be able to print these out. This is from the last video that I was doing the giveaway on these bigger lipped crankbaits. So we got Lemco Dude and Noah Casey that uh, left comments. Um, so we'll, uh, I'm gonna flip a coin <laughs> and uh, I suppose we'll just go Lemco Dude is heads and Noah is tails. So whatever, you, whoever wins gets, uh, gets one of these lures and I'll ship it right out to you. So here we go, Lemco Dude heads, Noah has tails, and it is tails. All right, so Noah, you just won the 3D printed uh, crankbait. I will send one of these out to you. Thanks again for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure to like it, and I'll see you on the next video. Come on, six pounder. Just inhale that whole thing.